Hello everyone, this is Maran. Today I'll show you what are dictionaries and why we need them. First, let's turn on Python. Now, in the previous video, we showed you how to make lists and tuples, where lists are immutable and tuples are mutable. To create a list, we do it like this. And to create a tuple, we create it like this. Save the program. And let's print it out. You see that? Now, what if we want to store more than a single value? As in like, instead of having one value separated by a comma, why not two or more values separated by a comma? To do that, if we were to use lists, we would have to create two or more lists to do the thing. For example, list one, to print each entry I would have to do it like this for example if I wanted the name assuming that I knew the indices I'll just enter it like this now what if we don't want to do that what would we do in that case, we would use a dictionary. Now, what is a dictionary? A dictionary, like the name suggests, is a pair of values, like a list, except where each value has a key. For example, In this case, I have two sections where, where each section has a key and a value. The key in Python is always the first word and the value is always the second. It doesn't have to be strings though. You see that? I kept the key as a string, but the value could be anything, even decimals. 
let's print these. Let's tr first print the dictionary, the first one. You see that? Along with the keys, it also printed out the values. Now, let's say you only want one specific section. To do that, I would first keep the square brackets. In, inside the brackets, I would keep the index. For example, if I wanted the name, I would keep zero. Remember that computers always start counting from zero. But look here. If I kept zero, it says a key zero. For dictionaries, you don't enter the index of what you want. Instead, you would enter the key that you want. For example, if I wanted the name, I would have to enter the name as the key. You see that? So for dictionaries, instead of searching for like the nth element, instead you can search for the key of that element and then retrieve its value. If you wanted only the keys, you can just do it like this. In dictionaries, there is a method called keys. You see that? It says the dictionary keys are the name and the date of birth. The same thing we have here. And for values, we just enter the same. You see that? This time it says the values where the name is Borkin Van Horn and the date is that. Now, why do we need a dictionary? Well, two reasons. One, we don't have to create multiple lists referring to the same thing like we saw earlier. And two, storing values which have definitions or other values is easier using a dictionary. Let's say that I wanted to have a translation program with some variable holding the English words with Spanish ones. So let's make that. I would do it like this. And then to create a dictionary, you have to keep the curly brackets, as in these ones. I don't know if you can see it, but these are little notches and they use the same keys as the square brackets. So you have to press and hold shift. Now inside the dictionary, I would first enter the English word followed by the Spanish one because the variable says English to Spanish, not the other way around. So if I have hello, I can set that as the key and change the value to hola. Same thing here. Thank you. To gracias. Now you can add, you can endlessly add multiple values, but for now I'll just stick with these two. Now, let's say I wanted to translate the word hello to Spanish. To do that, I can just get the function English to Spanish, put the square brackets and not the index, but put the key, in this case, hello. See that? We got hola. When we passed hello, it searched for the key that started with hello and returned hola. Now, what if we don't enter the exact same key? You see that? We know that hello and hello with two different starting letters, as in, in punctuation, is the same thing. But to the computer, it identifies it as two different things. So you always need to remember that dictionaries are case sensitive when it comes to keys and values. And what if you wanted to have a key, a different key with the same value? Now that won't work for the dictionary, but let's just try it. And 
I will get that instead. You see that? It returned the same thing. Dictionaries will work as long as none of the keys are the same. Let's try putting hello instead. And let's try calling it. You see that? It had accepted it because both the keys and values were the same. So it just took it. But what if I changed the second one? You see that? It took the first one, but then because there was another one, it took that one. So if you, unless you want the values to change, it is better to have different keys. So dictionaries are really useful, not just for providing translations, but to also store values which has other values. And also note that dictionaries can also store lists and all. So for example, if I want list one, I can just put this in, one, two, three. And if I wanted a tuple, I can just put that in as well. And then if I want to print it, you see that? So dictionaries can store multiple keys with multiple values. And it's really useful, especially with translations. So thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.